before I... Uh, what an eye. Well, you know what I was going to say before I get to the caller? Let's just bring in the caller. I'm told today that the phone lines lit up beyond belief because there's a weather delay and people are really looking for things. So apparently we have far surpassed yesterday's 73 phone calls, which is great news. And Zach Price from Cleveland, Ohio joins us. Zach, welcome to the show. Craig, how's it going? It's going very well. Say hello to uh, my sidekick here, Brian Hewitt. The general, Brian Hewitt. <laughs> Zach, man, Brian. Zach Price, how you doing? Do you have any friends named Nick Johnson? I'm thinking, you know, Zach Johnson and I'm, I'm Nick all over Price. It you him. got it? Yeah. Oh, how about Nick Price? Yes. Yeah, he's a friend of yours. All right. All you right. should do well in this. Now, I'm told, Zach, uh, if uh, everything I'm being told is correct, that you were actually at the Masters on Monday. What did you do on Monday at the Masters? Well, it was my dad's 60th birthday a few weeks earlier, and I got two tickets to Monday's practice round, brought them on down. We opened the, the gates opened at 8 a.m. on the first hole. Who was walking down? Tiger Woods. I got wow. to follow him all day long with my dad. Wow, that's, that's a terrific story. All right, Brandel Chambly has the headsets on, Zach. We've already had a couple of winners. If you win today, you get a Golf Channel shirt. I will tell you that what Brandel is listening to, among other things, is not Drew Weaver, but Dream Weaver. You remember that song, Gary Wright? It got to number two on the Billboard charts, Dream right. Weaver. Okay, that's what he's listening to today. Here we go. I've got. Oh, hold. You want to open that envelope? I thought maybe you were going to sing a few bars of nope, Dream Weaver. Nope, no, but uh, it's a pretty easy hey, one. Craig, you do want yeah, to yeah. I just wanted to say, I called in Saturday of the Masters in 2005 to play B. Brandle, yeah. and I got four, and he got four, so I'm looking to take him down. Frank, you're not going to have to put a thing. Don't worry over there, my man. Wow. Thanks a lot, wow. Mike. That's good. Two That's time I need a little repeater. rest today. That's Thank right. You. That means our viewership is uh, is really good, because he's, he's been following the show along for years. All right, open that thing up, and let's get to these questions. I didn't bring my letter opener today, because that takes too long, so here we go. And, and you were nice enough to have something in here for me today, so I will take this out. Blow on it like Ed McMahon. Go ahead. Yeah, and there you Let go. Let me have those. Before we get to these questions, um, uh, Tiger Woods is getting set to go on the tee. 150 tee time. Here it is. He is playing alongside Andres Romero today. So uh, know that as we move along here. Third round resuming at 140. We're back at it, and Tiger Woods getting set to step to the first tee at 150. That's Woods and Romero at 150. Okay, back to beat Brandle. And uh, Zach Price from Cleveland, Ohio. Here we go, Zach. Good luck to you, all right? Let's go. Question number one. Eisenhower Tree. Frank, hang on for just a second. That's a very loud uh, Pipe cup down over there. Over yeah. Eisenhower Tree is located on what hole at Augusta National? 17. Very well done. You're one up. What is the shortest par three on the golf course? Number 12 guy who knows what he's talking he's about. He's smoking. He's, well, he's, he's already on, on fire. fire. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Question three. What is out. the longest par four on the golf course? Number 11. Apparently, Zach not only went to the Masters on Monday, but he toured the golf course. He walked all 18. Did you do that, Zach? Uh, I walked all 18 with Tiger Woods. Very nice. And he takes no time. Way. He knows he's no. immediately. And, he you've got a, and you've got a pre-answer routine like Brant Snedeker, right. by exactly. the way. You're very quick on this. What was the only hole Jack Nicholas bogeyed on the second nine on Sunday in 1986? Number 12. Wow. Did, did you get a copy of these? Really? Hey, he called it the hardest hole in, in all of golf. Okay. <laughs> Listen, we'll give the, the descriptions of, of these <laughs> That's our job. Here. Wait a minute. All right. all right, here we go. I'm, I'm joining you guys at the depth next year. <laughs> I thought he said the hardest part of three in all the golf. <laughs> That'd be great. I could use a new sidekick. What team. is the only hole at Augusta National without a bunker? Ooh, I know this one. Fourteen. Wow. He had to take wow. a little time. Now, that's impressive. Zach Price from Cleveland, Ohio. You just became my hero. Bring Brandel Chambly over. Brandel, it's like bringing in a plane at Midway in Chicago. Do the music. Yep. How you guys doing? You got a you got a tough task today, buddy. Do I? Yeah. Say hello to Zach Price from Cleveland, Ohio. He tried to beat you a few years ago. Yeah. Hi, Zach. How are you? You got in. Brandel, how you doing? We played Saturday at yes. the Masters 2005. It's 2005. And, uh, we we 2005. 2005. So I'm getting you today. How'd you do in 2005? Because I don't have my I can't hear you. He, he, got four. Four he got four. four. He got four. He got four. How'd you do today? He well, got five today. He smoked. I don't he think a caller has ever got five today. He today. got five today. He just today. broke the record, Zach. We will update you on the leaderboard when we come back. The defending champion, not Zach Price, but Zach Johnson.
is making a move. That's what you do on Saturday at the Masters. Stay with us. Live from returns after this.